Hey there guys, Sean Michael here from WinBeta and welcome back to another video. Today is our next video in our Windows 10 in depth series and we're going to take a look at the Mail app inside of Windows 10. Now the look and feel of the Mail app is a lot like the Calendar app from last week so make sure to check that out. Some of this is going to seem pretty familiar but there are a lot of Mail specific features inside this app. Let's go ahead and get started. Again I want to start off by saying thank you for this beautiful wallpaper. Somebody uploaded this into the OneDrive and I really appreciate that. If you'd like your wallpaper featured in the next video, make sure to upload it. And as a favor, don't delete anybody else's, because some of them went missing in the last week. Got my eyes on you. Like last week, because there are so many different things to show in this app, my face isn't actually going to be in the corner, because I don't want to hide some of the settings that we're taking a look at. So inside the Mail app, you have a lot of the same layout and design that you saw in the Calendar app. And that's not by accident. If you click here, it actually just opens up the Calendar app directly. There's just an icon jumping right to it. So let's go through the layout first, then we'll go through the features. So in settings, there's multi-account support. Again, this looks just like Calendar. It has support for all sorts of different things. You can add more accounts. You got uh, Outlook, Exchange, Google, Yahoo, iCloud, etc. You can even add more, like uh, Exchange, Internet, that sort of thing. All right, there you go. So accounts are pretty nice. And that, that's a big deal for email, maybe even more so than for calendars, because you get a lot of email. You know, I have a work email, I have a uni email, I, you get a lot of different emails from different sources. So that's even more important, I think, in an app like this. You can personalize the background, you can go light dark theme. When you have the light theme, this is more noticeable, though it does change a bit with dark theme. Change these colors around, so that looks nice there. You can change the background. You can have it be the entire background or not. Uh, that changes mostly over here, to be honest. And then you can browse and you can select your own photos as well. It's a nice touch for personalization. Now in reading mode, there's just a few different options that you can do here. Uh, you know, this, this is ways to make it easier for you to go through your account and make this a personalized Outlook client. I'd say that this is really nice for both tablets and a desktop, though it's not as fully featured as the um, like paid versions of Outlook, but it is pretty nice. So inside of options, this is specific per account. So you can, if you have, as I do, four accounts here, you can have different options selected for each one, which is pretty nice, or fairly nice, as, as this channel is known for. So you have swipe actions. You can turn those on or off. These are more for tablet use. Uh, if you have a touch screen computer, though, that, that's fine. Maybe that'd be, they're more for touch use because they don't work with a uh, mouse. Uh, there are other ways to do the same task with a mouse pretty easily. You can customize what swiping right does or swiping left. And again, because it's different for each account, sometimes some accounts you're gonna to wanna to flag, sometimes you're gonna to wanna to do other things, a signature and that sort of thing down here. Customized notifications in the Action Center, which is really nice. You might want every work email that you get, but you might not care about maybe that folder that's you know from when you were in high school or something, you know, mostly spam at this point. Uh, let me show you these first. So the flag, you know, the swipe gestures, you know, it's pretty easy to set. Let's say I want to flag this and then say, okay, I definitely want to get paid this month, so I got to flag this here. Then you can sort. You can look only at the flagged emails there. So there you go. You go back into all. So that's pretty nice there. All right. Then you have, see, that's probably about it for settings. Uh, next up, I want to go into folder view. In the different accounts, you might have different folder setups, and that's pretty nice. So in my, this is my work folder. You might have a different setup than if I go into, let's say, my school folder, which is out of date. That's actually a, a bug. To be honest, you're going to deal with this for a while. I, I'm not sure why. I wish this was fixed, but apparently they're always out of date. It happens quite often. Sorry, guys. But in any event, your folders are going to look pretty different because they're different accounts, which is nice. Again, this is a multi-account client. I'll keep this mostly on my either my, my spam or my work one there. So, so that's fairly nice. I, I really appreciate that. Now, if you want to search your emails, that's great. If you want to say, what was that email about the podcast? And you can go ahead and you can search. And you get every email there. It's going to search online. You have there, blah, blah, blah. Lots of things. Great. There you go. You can also um, select certain things, multiple select here. And you have a lot of different options. Archive, delete, move, this little nice ellipsis menu. So you get lots of different options there. It's just, it's just nice. It's very intuitive. It, like I said, this isn't super powerful, but it does a lot of things pretty well. Now, if you want to actually compose an email, this, this is one of the strengths of this. Let's see, if I compose an email here, it's going to look a lot like these Office mobile apps. 
So if this is to run from win beta and I say video is almost done, there you go. And then when you're doing the text and it's text, text, garble, garble, right? You can do things inside the text pretty easily. So if you want to bold this, you can do that or you can use keyboard shortcuts. You know, you got all those different things, formatting here, highlighting, font color, you know, bullet points. There's just a lot of different options here. You got spacing, indents, really make this look more like a document instead of just like a, a group of, of text. You can change things like heading and you get the undo, redo buttons here. Obvious email things like CC and BCC, but really this formatting is one of the strengths of the app here. And I really appreciate that it's so uh, native inside the app. That makes a lot of sense since they make Word and all the other Office mobile apps there. So to be honest, that, that's really about, you know, yeah, the, the mail app is not, it doesn't have like the advanced sweeping features that you might see on, on some of the other paid Outlook things or maybe other clients, um, but it is really solid and it is, it is quite good. So that's it for the mail app. We're going to do a lot more videos of this Windows 10 in-depth series, so please let us know which apps or services you want us to take a look at. There's obviously popular ones like Edge, but other people have requested photos and that sort of thing. So if you have one that you'd like to see us do, make sure to leave it in the comments below. And also, if you want your background on the video, make sure to put that in the OneDrive folder in the accompanying article for this video. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.